Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome to the Animals Gadget Review channel. The Dollar Store Marathon continues. The other Dollar Store Marathon decided to buy more Dollar Store. Uh, so it's continuing. This is from Dollar Tree. It's the Armor Potted Meat, America's favorite. So I decided to try some mystery meat. Please subscribe if you want to see more mystery meat. So yeah, if you're watching this on Facebook, become a Facebook fan. There's a way of doing that on Facebook. Or just become a Patreon member for exclusive, exclusive content. Uh, but yeah, on the review, it's the Armor uh, Potted Meat, Potted Meat, I don't even know what that means, America's favorite. So ingredients, mechanically separated chicken, pork, water, salt, mustard, vinegar, dextrose, sodium erythorbate, garlic powder, natural flavors, sodium nitrate. It's by Pinnacle Food Group, LLC. Let's see, in this container, 170 calories, there's a 2.5 <laughs> servings in this container. It's 25% of your sodium per serving. So I'm not gonna read everything, but you can see the nutrition facts there. Yum, yum, yum. So let's try this out, see if it's any good. See if it's actually worth uh, the dollar cost. I haven't, um, you know, in all honesty, maybe I had these like a long time ago, many, many years ago as a kid. But, uh, you know, like the, the little hot dogs, I don't remember those hot dogs in a can. But I haven't really tested out these, or ever had these kind of mystery canned meats. I've had the hot dog canned meats, which are similar, but not these, these <laughs> mystery canned meats. So, first impression is it looks like uh, dog food or cat food. And I'm getting that kind of cat food smell, dog food smell. It's very potent, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a smell that will fill up the, the kitchen when you open it. And look at that texture, it's just like light, fluffy. Yeah, you can put it on some bread or who knows, you know, like get a nice uh, Ritz cracker or something. Look at that. Alright, so, apprehensively, I'm going to give it. A taste test. Here we go. Potted meat. Tasting it for the first time that I'm aware of, that I can remember. Three, two, one. Yeah, it's kind of grainy, which is weird. Um, it reminds me of like if you ground up a, a hot dog but you mix some sort of like cornmeal in it or something. It's got a like a grainy texture, which is quite strange actually. And that I would actually say that detracts from my enjoyment of it because it's like, it's like, why is it grainy? It's just, it tastes weird. Like the, the texture. It's like it coats the inside of your mouth with this like graininess. Um, Yeah, I could definitely see this putting on like a cracker or something. Um, you know, just, just a standalone thing. Um, hot dogs are better, just texture wise. Uh, this to me doesn't look that appetizing, but um, I could see getting used to it. Once you get over the, the kind of texture and the, the smell and all that stuff, I could see possibly enjoying this, you know, as some sort of, um, thing you put on, you know, like what they do in the picture, you know, kind of like a, a little snack, you know, something like that. But, um, yeah, not my favorite, not my favorite. Actually, I know what it tastes like. Okay, so it kind of tastes a bit like, like if you mix hot dogs with a tiny bit of tuna fish. That's what it tastes like. And then it has like a texture of cornmeal mixed in. So, yeah, interesting. Um, kind of a fun, this is a fun one. Uh, I like I like testing this out. So, let me know what you think. Have you does anyone is anyone out there a regular uh, consumer of this product? And if so, what do you put it on? And when did you start eating it? I mean, because I think this is a product to me that you probably wouldn't just pick up and start eating. You probably grew up on it. Um, let me know and thanks for watching everyone till next time. I'll see you later